Well, well, well. Got a little muddy today. Sheesh, We're not even filming it. Sheesh. Where's your, where's your other naked friend? Oh, he's over there. It hurts. Get away, I'm naked. Wow, this is not, <laughs> this is not what the viewers were expecting to see. <laughs> this isn't what they're thinking. Two naked boys. That just so happened to come out of Flair's truck at the same time. This is not suspicious at all. Yeah, we, um, well, you know, definitely uh, should have been filming. I didn't have a camera, but essentially, essentially we went scouting for birds because we're going hunting at the farm tomorrow. So we went down there, got the tank and went scouting. And Bonzo, I'm blaming Bonzo. Bonzo's idea at the last second was like, <laughs> let's go check this last marsh that's by the farm or by like kind of all the buildings and stuff. We went out there and I got the tank stuck. Can you believe I got this tank stuck? You wouldn't ever think it'd be possible, but we got in mud that was like knee deep. And well, the boys got out and pushed. I, I did too. I didn't get it as bad as them though. They had a, they had, they did have a naked mud fight. That at is some not point. true. And that was not on camera, but they definitely, <laughs> they, <laughs> not true. Lies. You guys, did you, did you not throw mud at each other? No. Yes, you did. At his face. No, you, you they, they, okay, long story short, they wrestled in the mud and they were naked, wrestled. and that's all. Boys are wrestling? I like that. True story is they did, in fact, get in the, get in the mud, and we, we all had to get out and push the tank, and we barely got it out, and they're naked because they got completely soaked in mud. I didn't get, you know, as bad as them, but, oh, hey guys, welcome back to Sort of Fisher Flare. We're going duck hunting tomorrow. <laughs> Bro, it was a bad deal, John. <laughs> You missed a really good time. That no, you missed. A, you see my Instagram? I saw your guys' Instagram. It was a bad <laughs> deal, dude. It was bad. We got her buried. Is it still out there? Oh, no. We pushed it out. Oh, We're beefcakes. Nice. That was so... Like, can you... How do you get the tank stuck? I don't know. Dude, we got it buried. I mean, like... Just in the mud, sunk, we jumped out. We were, like, knee-deep in oh, mud. No. I'm all muddy, but they had it worse, so that's why they were naked. But, oh. hey, on a good note, hundreds of teal. Yeah. It was loaded with teal, we dude. We have the juice for them all. They're all like they're all in that big marsh that we found yeah, them on. Yeah. Hey, I got clothes on now. We're good. Oh, well, thank God. I just had to censor the whole thing. This this video probably got age restricted now because Bonzo's titties were out. We can't have that. Finn, you ready to retrieve ducks for the first time tomorrow? It's your big day. You got you went to the groomer. I can see because you got a bandana on. You you're ready. You're prepped for the marsh. Just kidding. We're not. Bonzo's the dog tomorrow. But yeah, we're gonna build a blind real quick. You ready? It's gonna be the fanciest blind you've ever seen. And it's gonna let it allow us to clap ducks because the reeds are short, like super short and sparse. We couldn't find any thick stuff, so, no. we're, gonna, so we're gonna make our own blind. All right, well, see you guys in the garage. Here's the strap: two fence posts, burlap, zip ties, and a key knife. Cool. And where'd my knife go? This is gonna kill birds tomorrow. Okay, so one one key is wrap it. Like you know, you don't want it because you don't want it to come undone. So we'll just start with slamming then here and just do one quick wrap. Perfect. Then you take your zip tie and your key knife and just make a little incision, not much. Just enough for this to go through, like so. Like that. And then we just kind of do that around and then do it the other side. Well, folks. This is the blind. Looks pretty good. It's kind of, I know you guys thinking it's see-through, but it won't be once, once it's laid up against something, they won't be able to see us. The idea is we're gonna drive it in the ground up to the uh, T right there, and then hopefully even wrap it around just a little bit so it covers our sides, covers our front. It won't cover our heads, obviously, but it'll keep, you know, if they're buzzing low like Teal do, it should cover, you know, any motion that happens here. So the nice thing about it is, yeah, you just, you can just roll it up like a freaking scroll. Throw it in the tank tomorrow. Throw it in the, throw it in the boat and you're good to go. See you guys in the morning. Good morning, Millie. Here you go, duck hunting. This is your big day. This is your time to shine. You're gonna stay here and sleep all day, aren't you? Yep, I'm jealous. How you feeling, Rick? Tired. Yeah, me too. Morning, sunshine. What's up? How's it going? Great. You feeling I'm good so, about I'm so excited. Are you? Yep. <laughs> Dang! Dang! No way Bonzo's gonna body him like that this, yeah, this early. Did you? What time did you go to sleep? When did I go to sleep? Yeah. I don't know, what time did y'all go upstairs? <laughs> you sound drunk. <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> no, it's my allergies, night. dude. No. <laughs> I heard you talking to her last night. I did not. What time did you go to sleep? Like 11. 
Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, Were you taking a shower? I did take a shower. God, my dog would kept, wouldn't stop barking at you. I know. My my dog just kept barking at Bondo when he's taking a shower. Anyways, hey guys, welcome back. We're going duck hunting this morning. What do we have for food? Seven up cream cheese cake bites. I didn't think it was actually seven up. I thought it was like a mismarking label. Does it really taste like seven up? It tastes like you poured seven up on it. Do you not get that lemon lime? It's a um. It tastes like lemon poppy seed though. It's not bad. Not bad. It's not too bad. Just crack an egg. Oh, you have to actually add egg to that? Yeah. Oh. Do we have eggs? I don't know. This is your house, not mine. Oh, yeah. We got hell eggs, boys. There you go. Well, we're going to eat some breakfast. Get on the road. Head down to the farm. This is the first time we have duck on the farm this year, and it's flooded. And I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be a good season, but today... There's only early teal, so that's all we're going after. If you guys like duck hunting, if you're just getting into duck hunting, if you've been into duck hunting and you're a seasoned vet, go check out duckswaterfowl.com. It'll be linked down below. They got the hottest gear from hats to hoodies to t-shirts to calls to lanyards to like decals to pretty much anything. Coffee, coffee mugs, marsh mugs, stuff like that. Pretty much all of your duck hunting needs are there at duckswaterfowl.com. It'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out. Look at Bonzo. Yep. I mean, he's an ugly son of a gun, but dang, that apparel makes you look sexy. I'll tell you what. If it works for this guy, it can work for you. It'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out. We're headed to the farm. You guys stay tuned. Whew. Uh, how's it going, folks? We just sat in the truck for 30 minutes because it's freaking pouring rain. We just had like the biggest rainstorm of freaking 2019. Hopefully it's gone. We're going to load up and get out. Shooting lights in like 20 minutes. We're getting a late start. Not not our fault. It's the rain's fault, but we're going to get geared up. Yeah, there's rain everywhere still, so we might get soaking wet. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can get set up in the marsh and uh, clap some ducks. You guys stay tuned. Made it, folks. I haven't seen any teal fly for a little while. Kind of bummed we got a late start because it's usually when usually you can get some in, but it's still overcast. I feel like the teal are gonna fly, you know, throughout the morning, hopefully. But we got everything set up. Makeshift blind looks good. We don't have any wind, so I'm not super confident that the birds are gonna land in front of us. I think it's gonna be one of those where we all just shoot 360. Feeling good about it. We saw quite a few birds. Spray and pray? We're spraying and praying today. First time hunting the farm, so we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> All right, head mount on. These birds are skirting us. They're not landing the decoys. The wind's not in our favor. So I'm gonna kind of go over here a little bit. Cause right now that what they're doing is they're swinging around. We're basically like on an island and they're swinging around. So I'm gonna try to go on one point. If that does, still doesn't work, one of the other boys are gonna, we're basically just gonna spread out here. See if we can start shooting at them. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Kill them. Nice. <laughs> baby that worked that worked yeah, that was worked perfect. perfect if they keep skirting we'll send one more person down here you got another one baby it's hot and heavy out here we are still seeing birds flying oh right here boys Woo! good baby. job bonzo Shoo! well we just giving them a quick little recap and one came over our heads and bonzo absolutely sniped that sucker do they just come in so fast that i absolutely know nowhere. Nowhere. you can't see them. you literally can't see them because they're so freaking low <laughs> God dang. That, a kid. Jeez, that took long enough. God yeah, dang. I didn't even see him. Thanks, Bonzo. Huh? Nice little blooming boys. Phew. Kill him. Woo! Hey. Hey, two left, two left, two left. Got a seal, daddy. Yeah. Oh yeah, his wings are broke, but young looking bird, but you know what? Not bad. Come on! Yeah! Oh. That was teamwork. Teamwork. Right well, we got a little teal here. 
Bonzel hit it, and then he ran out of shells, and then Daddy came through and clapped it. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to get soaked, though. Yeah, I'll just sit here and take it. I mean, I don't have a jacket, so. It's at the Argo. Yeah, I know, I left it. I didn't think it was gonna rain. It's pretty neat. Oh, son of a biscuit. I think it's pretty much about the ends of, yeah, the, ends of the flying of the birds. Is that English? The birds are kind of done flying for the day. But we are gonna go home and clean these suckers and cook them. I think we've got at least a dozen birds, so not too bad. Got quite a few, actually honestly more than I thought. We also didn't pick the best spot in my opinion. Well, we picked a good spot, but I think we could we could find a better one. Cause there's not much water here, but then there's water over there. And all the birds started going over there. And when I moved over there, right away I got a couple shots off and then after that it was pretty much just straight cheek. So I feel like next time we need to go where there's maybe more water. I don't know. I mean, teal or teal. Teal don't need a lot of water. They kind of like this stuff. But I we didn't have a great hide. There was not a ton of tall reeds around here. And we used the makeshift blind. But you can see the blind. It, don't, it honestly doesn't look that bad. I mean, it matches kind of the mud. And as long as it kind of covers up, covers up your body, basically your head, as long as you keep your head low. I don't really think the teal saw us much. They didn't like flare out or anything like that. It was just a lot of times they were just kind of skirting us because I feel like they wanted to land out there in the water and not over here where we had the decoys. Anyways, we're going to get everything picked up here and we're going to head home. See you guys there. Boom. Well. This is a catch clean cook. I know you guys have probably seen this before. I'm gonna try to do it quick. How to clean this feature. If this is your first time watching a tutorial on how to clean a bird, it's pretty much the easiest way. There might be a couple other easier ways. Some ways you don't even have to use a knife, but I just like to use a knife. It makes it a little bit easier. Anyways. All right, first thing you do is this is the breast right here, and then there's a little bit of a hole right here. Take your thumb, pinch it, and just rip like just like that. You can take a knife and cut it. Then what you do is you take your fingers and get under the skin, just like this on both sides. Once you get it under there, just start pulling back and separate the skin from the breast. Pretty easy, kind of bend it all back like this. Sometimes it can get stuck here on the bottom. Pull it back. What some people do is you can literally just like take your thumb and rip these out. I like to take a knife, it just ensures that I get all the meat out of it. Sometimes when I've done the thumb technique, I've missed a little bit. Take your knife and slice right down this little breast bone here. And that's when you can kind of take your thumbs and kind of just work, work your thumbs all the way down. Kind of spread them all apart, just like that. So you can see the breast is almost out. And then what I do is I just take a knife and cut it right at the last little bit. Boom. There you go. That's a duck booby. Same thing the other side. Stick your knife in there. You just have to cut that top part. Cut off like that. Boom. Bird's clean. I'm going to get the rest of them done. And then we're going to head inside and cook them up. You guys stay tuned. Hey. Original frying oil. We're going to try something that I've never, you've never done anything. Yeah. Have probably. you, Slamin? Chicken fried teal. Yes. So this is the first for everybody. So we are going to be using original frying oil, and some classic fried chicken shore lunch. And we're gonna see, we're gonna cut them up into little nuggets, little balls. It's gonna make chicken fried steak, essentially. I mean, teal pretty much just tastes like steak. But I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna be any good. We're just gonna pan fry it though. We're just gonna throw it in the pan, in the grease. We're gonna probably do, well, let's see, let's read the directions. I was about to go off on my own thing, but let's see what it says. One whole cut up chicken, teal. Four eggs beaten, or one cup of milk. Cooking oil, box of shore lunch. Well, I say we use eggs. Four whole eggs then this, and then let's see what it, what it says for pan frying. Rinse, pat, dry the chicken, teal. Pour oil into large scale, preheat to oil to 350. Place breading mix into large resealable plastic bag and eggs or milk into a shallow bowl. Moisten the chicken, teal, in the egg or milk and then place in the plastic bag and shake to coat. Then throw it in the fry. You got all that? Yep. Let's do this. Boom. Well, it don't smell bad. I think if I were to guess, I think it's gonna be a little chewy just cause I think it's hard to get the fry fried and not overcook the teal. The thing about the teal is you want it medium rare. It's definitely more than medium rare. I tried to take them off as soon as they got going brown, but my guess is they're gonna taste better, but similar to fried gizzards because fried gizzards are like a dark meat, a little chewy, doesn't taste bad, but I'm guessing that's what it's gonna taste like. We're gonna let these things cool down and stick this meat in our mouth. Yeah, is ready for this moment? Mm -hmm. This up? might be this might be one of the first things I've I've cooked and been like, meh. I think it's gonna taste exactly like I think it's gonna taste. It's gonna Amazing. be Amazing. It's gonna be overcooked dark meat that's fried. It's not gonna taste bad, but yeah, it's I not think gonna, it's be, gonna be overcooked. It's gonna it, like I don't think it's possible to undercook or no. not overcook and, well, get the right. and get the breading right. All right, we're just gonna go for it. No. Yeah. yeah. 
Tastes like a gizzard. It doesn't taste bad, but really it's not chewy. But it's not the yeah. best way to, to to cook it. No, definitely cooked. It's cooked. Yeah. The outside's good. The batter. Mm -hmm. The batter is good. Mm-hmm. No, not in it. We want to try something different. We've been bacon wrapping pretty much everything. We want to try something different. We figured, let's fry it. It ain't that good. It's not bad, but it literally, if you've ever had fried gizzards, that's honestly like exactly what it tastes like. Could be worse. I thought it would be a little worse. I thought it'd be worse. Meat. I thought it'd be worse too. It's the just meat, chewy. The meat, like this one's tender. This meat, this piece of meat's actually like roast tender. Beef. Look at that. It's pretty tender. No, this piece ain't bad. It don't taste like when you cook as medium right with bacon. It's not as good, but this wasn't, it wasn't that bad. If you guys really like fried gizzards, and you end up shooting some teal. This is one way to do it. Pretty much tastes like fried chicken. Really, really dark meat. That's a little, yeah. a little overcooked, but not too bad. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Let us know what other way would you like to see us cooked up? We're running out of ideas. I mean, we're kind of trying to take it easy and do it like this, but like we could always like make jerky. We could always grind it up and make it like ground beef and make it spaghetti, stuff like that. There's a bunch of different options that we have. Um, let me know what you guys want to see in the next duck hunting episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.